Hello everybody and welcome back to another Rusty Mats video and welcome to this video on special sequences. Now there are many sequences that you can come upon um, in your exams or just in everyday life really but there's some of them that sort of come up more often. These are the ones you're most likely to see in school. I will only talk about these three an arithmetic sequence, geometric, and Fibonacci sequence. Now, this is just an information video. Um, I'm not gonna be solving any questions on these. I will do that in, a later, in later videos. I'm gonna do one for arithmetic, one for geometric, and one for Fibonacci. So just stick with me though to find out what's special about these sequences. Now, an arithmetic sequence. You've seen one of those before. If you've been watching my series so far, then you would have seen an arithmetic sequence. It's the first video I did on linear sequences. Now, how do you know one when you see one? Well, an arithmetic sequence goes up in regular terms. So let's say I write a simple sequence, three, uh, five, seven, nine, and so on. This is an arithmetic sequence because it goes up by adding two every time. So if your sequence go up by adding the same number every time, whether that be two or three or whatever, so long it's the same number, it's the same difference between each term, then that's an arithmetic sequence. And I'm just gonna throw in here that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, a n we call it, is a, a one, which is the first term, plus n minus one times d. Now, this first term here is going to be three because that's the first term in the sequence. So we definitely know that this is the this is gonna be three, but we call it the first term. The D is the common difference. Now, the common difference in this particular case is two because it's, it's two that's incremented every time, or two is the difference between each term. And it's the same all the way across, okay? And then you've got your n minus one. The n is obviously the position of each number in the sequence. So that's what an arithmetic sequence is. You've seen one of those before. So the geometric sequence, I'm gonna start with my first term being that, and then it's going to be two, four, eight, and so on. Now the difference between a geometric sequence is that it has a common ratio. So this was common difference, which is a difference, but this is common ratio. And the common ratio basically mean that in for this sequence to go up, I have been multiplying my last term by two every time. So if you can see here, I multiply one by two to get two, then I multiply two by two to get four, and then four times two give me eight. This is my common ratio. And that's how you know a geometric sequence when you see one, it has a common ratio. Now, what does the nth term for that look like? Just throwing that in. So a n is going to be a times r to the power n minus one. And the a again, in this case, is my first term. So in this case, the first term is one, and then the R is my common ratio. So that's my common ratio. And again, the common ratio you can see here is gonna be two because I have been multiplying all of the numbers by two in order to get the next number. Again, N is the position of the number in the sequence. We don't really need to touch those, but like I said, I'm going to do a, um, a special video on that. The final sequence I'm going to talk about is going to be uh, the Fibonacci sequence. Now this comes from um, a guy called Fibonacci way back for whatever, I can't remember how long now, that he discovered just by looking at shells, how the numbers have been incremented to make that shell. I'm not going to attempt to draw one because my drawings are dodgy and I can't show you a picture of one because then I'll have to pinch it off the internet and then that's going to be a copyright problem, so no. Okay, so you're just going to have to go look that up yourself. But he discovered that from the shells, he can make a sequence that looks like this. The first term is one. The second term is still one. The third term will be two. The next term will be three and then five, and then eight, and so on. Can you spot what's happening in this sequence? Well, let me point it out for you. So after I get my first two terms, which are given, 
The next term is found by adding the first two terms. The next term is found by adding the two terms before it. This term is found by adding the two terms before it, and so on. This is found by adding those two terms before it. And that's how the Fibonacci sequence works. Now, you might think, well, yeah, no, that's about it, but uh, Fibonacci sequence can start from any number, and it can also include some algebra. When I do a video on it, I'm going to show you how nice that sequence is. But anyway, this brings us to the end of this video on special sequences. I hope you've learned something new. And if you did, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content I'm uploading. Um, until then, though, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.